the short story of why his fiance hates me is because our son was conceived while they were already in a relationship which i wasn't aware of uh <laughs> oh It's raining, I ain't got nothing else to do, so I thought, why not react to Reddit stories? This should be fun. We are going to be reacting or reading um, Reddit stories and not just any kind of Reddit stories. I think the best kind would be the am I the a-hole Reddit stories. Are you? Are you an a-hole? And I'm not trying to say the word, but yeah. I feel like especially around Christmas time, you will have those moments where you want to be selfish. But that kind of backfires. So I'm really, I'm, hmm, I don't know how these stories are going to be, but I know they're going to be real shocking because of the type of people we have in this world. So let me type in Christmas stories. Like I've seen videos that, you know, they read Reddit stories and it's just like really shocking of how terrible these people can be. So <laughs> we're gonna be doing that on today and see how this all works out. This is my first time really doing this. Um, like I said, I'm kind of nervous, so let's do it. Yeah, bring the chaos. Ah. Intrusive thoughts. Yeah. Okay, it says, am I the a-hole for ruining Christmas Eve for my ex's fiance? Oh, buddy. Okay. My ex's family were complaining that they wouldn't see our son on Christmas because I was going to spend it with my family. Since they live fairly close to my parents, I decided to drop by on Christmas Eve so they could see my son. I didn't check in advance to see if my ex and his fiance would be there, but unfortunately they were. Mm. Okay. My ex's fiance asked me why I was there and asked me to leave. You know, maybe you need to leave. Um, let me keep on reading. I tried to explain I was only there so my ex's family could see my son, but she was yelling at me that I ruined everything and I was doing this on purpose. She left because I wouldn't. The short story of why his fiance hates me is because our son was conceived while they were our- Ooh. Oh. <laughs> be crying <laughs> the short story of why his fiance hates me is because our son was conceived while they were already in a relationship which i wasn't aware of uh <laughs> oh um i had to take this in for a second um or this person <laughs> see now now i understand the whole thing because i was trying to figure out why the fiance was mad but now i know why okay first off um you should have um i feel like that person should have uh ch checked in in advance before anything ex escalated you know because Sometimes things can get very hectic and in this situation it did. So I, I, ooh baby, I feel like um, you should have checked in advance. <laughs> Sorry, that last part really got me. My thing is, maybe stayed in the car. Maybe stayed in the car. I don't know. I feel like that would be another idea of not really dealing with confrontation and conflict. 
um wow so is this person the a-hole hmm i'm gonna say yes but i'm also gonna say no because it's kind of not it yes it's yes it's their fault but also um the guy should have explained that hey um i have a fiance before even you and him got together and conceived a child because what the heck that's not okay but are you the hell it's it's a balance of yes and no it's a balance of yes and no so man don't you just love love lives like relationships my gosh <laughs> okay okay so this one is uh from 26 days ago it's am i the a-hole for telling my six-year-old that santa isn't real oh let's get into this one you know santa claus isn't real right what right mm -hmm. what? exactly no nah, because she had it coming Why she had it I, 39 male was watching the movie elf with my wife 32 and six-year-old daughter we reach the scene where the elves are working on santa's sled to make it fly because not enough people believe in santa my daughter latches onto this and just keeps asking is santa real her mother said yes but my daughter kept asking me as well i said santa is a great idea and a lot of fun but no he is not real First, <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you do that? That's what <laughs> I think Christmas as a child is supposed to be magical. Why would you ruin the magic for a child? Make that make any sense? <sighs> for some context, I love Christmas, but I didn't get to celebrate Christmas until I had a family of my own. I was raised in a family whose religion prohibited Christmas. I couldn't wait to get out and experience all the moments I miss. So we do Christmas as big as we can. All the stereotypical traditions and for the part, for the part, for the past five Christmases, I have passively went along with the Santa idea with my daughter. And even though I told my wife that I didn't like lying to her, and I didn't see the point in lying about something that would eventually come out no matter what. I also told my wife that I wouldn't lie if I was ever asked. Okay. Well, the moment finally came, she asked me and I said he wasn't real. At first, my daughter was fine. My wife gave her some long explanation as to why she's lucky we get her presents. My daughter didn't really like this explanation and was upset. Oh God. <laughs> We both told her that some parents work really hard to convince their kids that Santa exists and that she shouldn't try to convince kids otherwise. My wife definitely felt like I should have lied. Eventually, my wife asked my daughter if learning that Santa wasn't real changed how she feels about Christmas, and my daughter said kind of. Kind of, yeah. Yeah! My wife thinks... I should have lied that kids believing in Santa is harmless and that I can't relate to Christmas from a child's perspective because I didn't have those experiences. I think we played along with the tradition for as long as we could, but when my daughter directly asked me, the truth was better was the better option. I can't really walk this one back and we all have a good holiday and we all will have a good holiday, but am I the a-hole? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Why would you, why would you tell the truth of Santa not being real to a six-year-old that still has that pure child innocence of Christmas spirit inside of her? Why would you do that? That's, no, you are the a-hole and I'm glad your wife got on you about that because what? You, you ruined it for her. She's not gonna look at it the same. What, why? Oh my God. That was, uh, like just because you didn't have a good Christmas, you gonna ruin it for the rest of us? Well, for your daughter? Like, oh my gosh. 
that's not okay what okay here's the next one am i the a-hole for taking back the christmas present i got for my stepdaughter after she took my son's crutches mm, okay well let's get into this one this happened two days ago I have known my stepdaughter, 13, for over three years. She sometimes does things that piss me off, even though there's no reason for her to treat me and my son this way. My son recently had surgery for his fractured ankle and has been using crutches. He's 10 years old and crutch walking is difficult for him. His underarm area hurts, but he needs to use his crutches for support and be able to move around easily also to avoid any further complications and allow his ankle to heal properly. His sister makes fun of him, calling him Mr. Four Legs. Oh, she thinks it's funny and would get in his path purposely. Or loosen up the screws on the crutches. She did it more than once and I ended up grounding her, but that did nothing. She still does make, she just still does many other things to make it hard for me and my son to deal with his current situation. My wife works long hours. I work from home, so I handle chores and taking care of the kids. My wife was at work. I went out to get stuff from the pharmacy while my son was sleeping. I had only been gone for an hour, and when I got home, I heard my son crying. I walked into his room and found him sitting in his bed, telling me his crutches were gone. He said he was calling for me, but I wasn't home. I was confused and I found his bed wet since he couldn't go to the bathroom. I knew his stepsister took his crutches and thought it was funny. I went over to her room and yelled at her asking where she put my son's crutches. She actually yelled at me for walking in without knocking and wanted to call her mom when I started looking all over the room. I found them behind the closet. She defended herself saying she was just pranking him. So basically my son was stuck in his wet bed for a whole hour. Oh my God. While she was in her room listening to music and playing on her laptop, I kept berating her and yelling at her and I was still mad. After I took care of my son and cleaned his bed, I went and took back, <clears throat> took back the present I bought her for Christmas and put it in my son's room and told her she's never allowed into my son's room ever again. She stayed in her room till her mom got home. Turned out she was calling her mom, telling her I was yelling at her for not helping her stepbrother use the bathroom. I told my wife what really happened and she agreed her daughter was in the wrong but taking the present with extreme and that she just wasn't thinking straight. Honestly, I was tired of listening to her make more and more excuses for her and trying to say my, that my stepdaughter won't be able to forget the fact that I took away her present. I refuse to talk about it anymore. She's just a kid messing around and didn't mean it. It's ridiculous. Okay. So it's not ridiculous if you're a 13 year old messing with a 10 year old who's on crutches. No, you're not the a-hole. Cause in fact, um, it should not be that serious for her to be, you know, ups like your wife to be like, oh, she's gonna be upset that you took away her Christmas present. No, she's not, she's gonna be fine. Just like she was listening to the music while she took his crutches. Keep on listening to the music. Because that's what you get. That's that's like, why? There might be something going on with her. But that's not okay. Bullying a 10 year old who got surgery. Knowing that's probably going to affect him. Like, excuse me, be, be so for real. Like, that's so ridiculous. And that man had every right. I, I don't know about, mm, I honestly don't know about the yelling, but everything else, he had every right. Cause for you to just keep on repetitively bullying and harassing the son, it's just not okay. And this is like the next level of disrespect. So honestly, you did the right thing. I'm gonna say kudos to you. Um, somebody in the comments, uh, so 
social security that's why we're not in doing it okay somebody said no she's not she's a 13 year old who's mercilessly bullying an injured 10 year old in his own house <laughs> taking his crutches and loosening the screws could have led to more injury what if they needed to evacuate the house taking away her christmas present is fine it's an appropriate punishment but this is just going to keep happening if no one gets to the bottom of her severe lack of empathy and if her mother doesn't start taking her bullying seriously not the a-hole and that is correct not correct but that's i agree with that like honestly if the mother keeps giving excuses on excuses and keeps defending her daughter when your daughter is doing wrong like oh my gosh another person said taking the presents back is not extreme enough your stepdaughter is abusing your son and your wife thinks it's just what kids do therapy at the least a phone for your son to call you when he needs you document everything and have that girl sent to live with her father it's a lot of issues going on right there um but honestly again you're not the a-hole she's just wrong for doing that that's that is terrible kids are kids are oh my god kids are so mean jesus okay so this is gonna be the last one it says am i the a-hole for using my father's phobia against him for my christmas prank so it reads since i was very young my dad has always made a point of having what he calls gnome phobia basically he says that he had a traumatic childhood experience and can't stand the sign of garden gnomes as my siblings and I got older, we figured out this was probably just an elaborate lie to keep our mom from buying the more cutesy garden decorations that my dad has always hated in other people's lawns. So, cut to this Christmas, my dad has this hired, hired? This weird nativity set that he puts up every Christmas. It's a set of plastic figurines that comes to um, comes up to your hip and it takes up at least a third of the living room. And everyone has always hated it. When I saw someone on Facebook Marketplace selling a set of large size garden gnomes, oh, okay, yeah, this is not gonna go good. I decided it would be a funny Christmas prank. You know, let's just keep on reading, see how this works, okay. I bought the gnomes and hid them in the trunk of my car Christmas Eve when my parents were asleep. I enlisted the help of my brother to replace all the nativity figures with the garden gnomes. I bought a regular small gnome for baby Jesus. I thought it would be funny to come downstairs Christmas morning and see all the gnomes, but my dad freaked out at me and started demanding where I'd put his nativity set. I think everyone was a little caught off guard at how big his reaction was, so I returned the nativity set after apologizing. He stormed upstairs after I returned his stupid nativity set, and my mom told me later that he almost cried. Oh, oh no, damn, what, ooh, damn, why'd you do that? Dad told me he forgave me, and we opened presents after he came back downstairs but he's been avoiding me in the house ever since. Yesterday, my mom told me it was immature and mean um, and mean of me to use my dad's phobia of gnomes against him like that. And she wants to apologize. She wants me to apologize, sorry. She wants me to apologize again. I'm so confused and feel bad for upsetting my dad, but they're gnomes. So I don't know if he really has a phobia of them. He's a grown man, am I the a-hole? Yes, you are the a-hole. You're, you're the a-hole, cause it shouldn't matter if he's an adult or not, if he's a, a grown man, like, quote unquote, what you said, it, it shouldn't matter. That's still a phobia and that's still a fear of his. So yes, you're definitely the a-hole and it was wrong of you to use as a prank to figure out if your dad is actually afraid of gnomes. Like, what? Why do you have, why do you have to do a prank to figure that out? I'm gonna end this here, cause wow. Um, I might do this again. This was fun reading. Very interesting. Because people are just... Wow, people are just people. So, um, thank y'all so, so much for watching. And thank y'all so, so much for reading with me. If y'all haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, click that like button, and then comment down below what else you want to see for my channel or for this Vlogmas video season. I was trying to figure out the words. Yeah. 
It's vlogmas video season. Yep. <sighs> Love it. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Deuces.